I'm proud of the fact that I've been able, and I've been very fortunate to work with lots of fantastic colleagues. You know, right now I've changed the name of the firm uh, so that it's uh, it's Roger Sturck Harbour and Partners because at 80 you can see an end will be coming. But I would like to think that my ethics, going back to the Royal Academy exhibition, the ethos of it may continue. We have a constitution where. The partners gave up their ownership. It's owned by a charity. We only do certain types of work. And that has created a certain team spirit. So I'm proud of all those things. I'm proud of, about the fact that um, I have been able to live in a, at a time when I've been able to make use of my abilities. On one side, Britain has now very good architects, very good modern architects. Um, and you could argue that there's no nation that has better the Pritzker Prize, which is sort of uh, sometimes talked about as the Nobel Prize of architecture. There's probably more architects who've got Pritzker per population in England than anywhere else. Maybe Japan would be the competitor. Or, um, so it, the architecture is there, is, is there. Political interest never been much. And every now and then you get a, a bit of a flair. Um, and I certainly have tried to work on it, and I work in the House of Lords, and I usually participate when there's things about the built environment. Um, and uh, in one way, it is, it is better. I mean, if you go to the City of London, it's pretty good. And I was coming out the other day from uh, the Design Museum on the other side of Tower Bridge, and I thought I was in New York with all these towers and lights and so on and so on. Now, I'm not saying it's good or bad, but it's very exciting. It's very dynamic, it's something which was impossible before. Um, I think what has left, and, and in my generation, and I don't believe one can say it's better or worse, in my generation, every architect that left school, and I left the Architectural Association in the 50s, uh, and then I went on to Yale, everyone went to work for schools department, hospital department, housing departments of the local county council, education establishments, and so on. I worked on schools. Um, Really, I'm going to say 90% of the students that I who left with me at the AA went to work. That would be natural. In other words, the idea was you would build for the future. We just had a horrible war, and there was this very strong feeling, not by one party, by the way, there were possibly more by one party, uh, about well, the welfare state. The state could be enriched by the way that we played out our abilities, our responsibilities. This has gone. Um, and it is much more an age of greed, uh, especially in the sense of when we were watching the economic crisis of the last years, it is very much about dog eat dog. Um, and the acceptance that it doesn't matter what you earn, you have no duty to society. Um, and I think it's reflected in some of the things we do. I often point out to Finland, where the teachers get the same money as uh, surgeons. Of course, therefore, the teachers are recognized in their important role. We don't. Um, that goes throughout everything. It's nothing to do about architecture, that's about society. But it is a very exciting time, and now we're looking at an international world, and we weren't doing it when I was 50 years ago, when I started doing architecture. Um, Paris was pretty international, <laughs> in the sense of going across the channel. Um, now, you know, we, you, we can make use, now again, we're fortunate, we can make use of a much wider network of communication and therefore change and adapt to that, to that network. I wouldn't say that things are uglier, but we have to be very wary of protecting the public domain.